five, four, three, two. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CB. It's Nick and Alexa here with your announcements for April 15, 2021. A reminder for all students, remember to turn right onto Todd Lane when exiting the back parking lot. You are not permitted to turn left and go towards Baker Road. Thank you for your cooperation. Seniors, please check your emails for the early presentation schedule for senior projects. The first day was April 12th, and the upcoming day is April 19th. You must confirm through email. FBLA state qualifiers attend the virtual state leadership conference last week. Congratulations to Mara Fisher, who finished third in the state for her competitive event intro to FBLA. Mara will now move on to nationals. Congratulations and good luck, Mara. Now for your daily sports update. Tonight, boys tennis takes on Washington away starting at 3.30. Girls softball faces in the Shannon at home today at 4.15 as well. Good luck to both teams. Tomorrow, boys baseball plays away at Hopewell at 4. Also tomorrow, softball matches up against Hopewell at home starting at 4.15. Good luck to everyone. That's all we have for your announcements today, CB. Now here's a special segment on Prince Philip with Nick and Antonio. Good morning, CB. Nick and Antonio here with a special segment on the laws of Prince Philip. Prince Philip was known as the Duke of Edinburgh, and he unfortunately passed away at the age of 99. He was born in Greece, then the family soon had to flee the country, which led to his family falling apart and Philip being moved around with several different family members. After a rough childhood, he became one of the Royal Navy's youngest first lieutenants at age 21 and saw action in the Indian Ocean on October of 1942. He then went on to having four kids, Charles, Prince of Wales, Anne, Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex. Prince Philip was the longest serving royal concert in British history for nearly 70 years. Here's a short video that recapped Prince Philip's life. He is someone who doesn't take easily to compliments, but he has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years. And I and his whole family owe him a debt greater than he would ever claim or we shall ever know. As you all can see, Prince Philip was very important in a loved man in England, and he will be greatly missed. 
That's all we have for you today, CV. Thanks for listening.